Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. You would have seen this vlog starting on a Sunday. We didn't end up staying at home Sunday. We ended up going out, but it was very nice. Went for a lovely walk. Marcus has just got a H&M delivery, so he's just trying his clothes on. He's actually ordered the same stuff again because he ordered it in the wrong size. They look like they fit better, Marcus. Yeah, they do fit better. Yeah, they're nice. Try that. I mean, did you get a hoodie for that as well? It's about. Why should I buy a hoodie for that colour? Because you said not to. No, you should. It's nice. You said not to. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I won't stop you getting a cold. Well, you did stop me. I didn't stop you. <laughs> well, you did. I didn't. Order the hoodie for that. It's nice to have a full set. Well, I wanted a full set, but you didn't provide me with a full set. Order it today. Hey, Shams going to be sick of us. I actually just marked the stuff just came today and then I placed an order for Mia's clothes last night. I couldn't help it, but it had the cutest, like, rompers and, you know, summery stuff in. And I just ended up buying it because H&M has really good, cheap, children's clothing like rompers for like 3 dollars and they obviously are very handy nice lightweight great for summer and if you wait to buy them in summer they're just always out of stock so i just thought to myself when i see the clothes now i'm just gonna pick the size that she'll need then and i'll be sorted for like a little summer wardrobe because yeah they have the cheapest nicest clothes but they are always out of stock and i bought like some sun hats and stuff very premature but it will be for the summer inshallah you know what I love? That cream cord, it's not see-through. Like I want a female version of it. The top, no it's not. That's right, good Marcus. You know how hard it is to get like a white cream, I think that's like an e-crew colour, no? Turn around. I love that. Stone, I thought it was cold. Yeah, I love that. Can I just show the back of you? It's like to have a cord that is not see-through, I've not got your face in it. <laughs> does not see through is very nice oh do you reckon i could get away with like a small no I've, I've i've i'm a changed woman now marcus like with my i want to get to the phase where i start to wear more fitted clothing not like no what size are these small oh is it my, the joggers were oversized the trying these on top fitted. of my leggings actually i just want to wear more fitted clothing because you know when i buy you wear them inside out no because you know when I buy clothes that are too big, then I end up thinking, I don't know, I think it affects my weight. <laughs> Let me see, move. Quite like though. What do you think, matcha matcha? Because I feel like when I buy clothes, I do still like oversized clothes, but if I go too oversized, which I don't need to, then I always feel like, oh, I can get away with eating stuff because my clothes are like big for me. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 like ho the hoodie's medium. What hoodie is that medium? Mm, that's mm. a nice fit. Couldn't have had a small hoodie. This is a nice fit. Oh, I might order myself some, Marcus. Is it bad that I want it in both as well? Get it in both. The brown's nice. Brown's a nice colour. This is a really nice mm. colour for spring. I like it when Alina had that uh, brown cohort that but hers was a boohoo one. Yeah, she's got a boohoo. This quality is amazing. Though. This, yeah, this is the type of quality where, this from the men's section, that it won't ruin. And that's what I really like in colours. You can wash this many times, I don't think it'd go crab. Many times. Many times. And the same with the white one. HM do really good colours, you know. Really good. Well they've not had what for ages to get men's that have got cuffed bottoms. Is our makeup they've, there? they've not had them. Marcus has been looking for cuffed jogger bottoms for ages and just not been able to find them and I saw some on H&M. I was like, you might as well grab them whilst you can. And they'll be good to wear on like cooler summer days because our summer's not always massively hot, is it? Mm. I'm so stupid, I ordered. Oh, we had that, I ordered. Two separate parcels, you did two separate orders. Yeah. One of them said it was on its way, the other one didn't, I don't know. Ah, uh, so that might be tomorrow then. I am stupid because I ordered foundation and I realised, oh crap, I need eyeliner. Uh, yeah. But if anyone's wondering, because I get asked quite a lot what foundation I wear, Ugh. it's this bobby brown one it's the skin longwear weightless full cover all shine control um this is one that i've been wearing for maybe i don't know maybe two years a year and a half you can't wait what for because my camera is seriously playing up i get that in natural tan yes if anyone's wondering that is my foundation but Mia, I can hear her, she's awake now. I'm gonna go ahead and I need to quickly film my reels and then I promised the girls that we'd bake something today. It's the last day. It's the last day with us. I'm gonna miss them so much. They're back to school. They're back to school tomorrow and honestly it's like 
heartbreaking. I was saying to my sister, I was like, I'll drop them off and pick them up from school. <laughs> Just let them stay with me forever. But yes, unfortunately, the girls are going back, which makes me extremely sad. Uh, so I said that we can like bake a couple of things today because I was going to take them out for a walk. And it said it's gonna, it's gonna rain all day. Although it looks like it's clearing up, so if it clears up, I might just take them for a walk because I did want to go. So we shall see. Marcus, brush. Marcus made it's us so cheese toasty soup, Fine. although they're not very toasted. I'm sorry, my loves. I realise you're probably very sick of watching me clean my kitchen. However, it always needs cleaning. The whole house is cleaning once again, even though we did it last night. So I'm just gonna quickly pack on with that. Like, I actually kid you not when I say my laundry pile is almost as tall as I am. That's not an exaggeration, that is genuinely true. So I just put a load on and then today my aim is to get like three loads done. So just quickly refill our washing up pods. This jar smells incredible because all it ever contains are like these washing up pods. I just like them in there because I feel like it looks a little nicer. It's just easier access rather than having them under the kitchen um, sink cupboard. So I'm going to pop them in. These are my favourite washing up like clothes pods ever. They smell so good. And that is that. And then I need to go get some water, fill it up. I usually quite like having that full to the brim. I just convinced my sister, oh my god look at that hair is going crazy, just convinced my sister to bring me to Wilco and I picked up some little uh, spray can I want to revamp the vase that I've got but I'll show you guys that when we get back home you're a good egg aren't you, you're a good egg for bringing me to Wilco's, I really can't bother to drive. Hello, I'm home now guys, Mia's just woken up from her nap but she's quite content with her cousins. So I went to the shops and I picked up this spray can. It's like a stone effect. It comes out like a spray can. God, they're so noisy. It comes out like a spray can. And that's my sister in my bubble, so. Uh, yeah, this is a spray can and it comes out in this effect. So I kind of don't like this vase anymore. Because I don't think it matches anything. I mean, it's very pretty, but I think it's a little bit purple rather than brownish so I'm going to spray paint that. Then I've been struggling to get hold of these long candles but I finally got my hands on some. Oh no! Oh they don't fit. <laughs> well they do sort of actually. I'm not going to light it. I know it's more of a display thing isn't it? Do you believe I got this for like a pound? Look. That looks alright. Yeah it's a bit of a gold. It looks a bit cheap but if you look at it from far it looks all right to be fair <laughs> it's not staying there but yeah they're a little bit small for it but we're fine for this it'll be all right need to find this need to actually find out where i want to put this now yeah i'm gonna do it now they are ignore them they suitcases uh how much are they for 30 pounds yeah my sister found such a good deal 30 pounds for three suitcases there's the big one medium and like little carrier so I've got two of them. We don't have any holidays planned, but we have them planned. But whether we bought them or not is a different thing. <laughs> so because it's a good deal, I thought I'm gonna get some because Marcus and I don't have our own suitcases and we've been scavenging them off my mum every time we've been on holiday. Hi skin skin! I'm gonna chuck these ones out. I bought these. Huh? Yeah, she'll be fine. Like water. So I bought these but I don't like them anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of them. 
she likes it. She needs some water actually anyway, so you get um thingy. I should have it behind because look it's going everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Quite cool though, isn't it? Mm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do we have to kick you out the room? <laughs> Mia. <laughs> so good job of cleaning that. Alright guys, so I've just finished the first lay and successfully managed to get it everywhere including on my camera, on my phone and on me. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like so far. Right, so at the minute it kind of looks like this. You can see the texture and it's come out of the spray can. And I think that this needs to obviously dry before I do a second coat and then I think the second coat should be like the final coat. It's pretty good coverage. And yeah, I just hope it looks nice and I put like the pampas grass and stuff back in it. It was a beautiful vase. It was like a, I think it's more of a brown colour when I first bought it. But it started to look a little bit purple to me recently and I just thought that this effect would be nice, a little bit more of a timeless piece. So yeah. I decided to do that and I'm going to sort out like the pampas grass and stuff and pop that back in. This I got from Amazon. These I got from our local shopping centre. Um, and then these I also bought from the local shopping centre. But they, they look nice when I bought them. They look disgusting when I put them in. I just never threw them out because I paid for them. So I thought let me use them. <laughs> But I can't make them work, so I'm going to chuck them out. I have no place for these in this in our home. Yeah, I'm just going to pop these ones back in, and I think it should look quite nice when it's done. But what is it? Shall we? Shall we put baby in the box? <laughs> There's a baby in the box. There's a baby in the box. Huh? Oh. Uh, I just flashed my driving lesson. Beep beep. had a quick game of uno with the kids yeah like i said it's the last day today so i'm very very sad and i've just got my um nephews here with me as well and the girls going back today ah, i don't want them to go back just had to nip upstairs because i've just got I just remembered i've got a quick little bit of work to do oh it shouldn't take me too long so i thought i'll quickly do that before i forget and it's nice to have it done so it's over my head so glad i cleaned that kitchen i swear to you i cleaned it yesterday and you'll be like literally in the vlog before it said you advise us it's best to like clean at night i swear i didn't and i woke up and it was an absolute state this morning can't explain it but now downstairs it's nice and clean upstairs is moderately clean 
it's clean enough for me to deal with it i'm just gonna quickly you can't see the mess in here but i'm gonna quickly just sort that out so it's not to in my face and then i will sit down and get some work done i've just checked on the vase and it's not dried yet so i'm gonna wait for that to dry so i'll probably end up showing you that later on um i'll definitely show you this vlog <laughs> literally me i was like oh my god i need to change me as nappy i've not changed it in ages and just so i was back to get up and change a nappy it leaked everywhere so obviously my own fault because i just i had completely just forgot to change a nappy as like, oh crap it feels a bit full and yeah it was it was too late at that point <laughs> so I will now go ahead and clean this room and then I need to discuss with Marcus what we're cooking for dinner tonight because we, we don't know. We had Sunday dinner yesterday which you would have seen that was lovely. I love Sunday dinner so much like Marcus makes it so nice. I'm so grateful for like the little chef that he's become over the years. <laughs> actually before i do that i placed an order with a company called what are they called i can't remember the name both and reckless i think i saw like an ad on instagram i'm a sucker for instagram ads i really am but anyways i saw an ad on instagram and i clicked on their page i was like oh this looks quite nice and it's the first time i've ever, I've ever shopped there um i've ordered a side split shirt like a oversized one like a really nice beige like brownie color and i ordered some wide leg satin trousers and creams i thought oh they'll be beautiful for, like summer and especially if you've gone holiday that's like the perfect bottoms and i've ordered a knitted bodysuit because you know i love my body suits and that one's in white I did have it in black as well so if i'm impressed with the white then i will probably head back and get the black and then i ordered a jacket that they had in sale it's a cream jacket but it looked beautiful and it was in sales and it was like a quarter of the price or almost half price what it normally was so that doesn't come till tomorrow because I, I got free next day delivery but it basically was i ordered it late at night so i'm gonna have to wait for that sorry my light's just gone off there i'm gonna have to wait for that to that'll arrive tomorrow so i'll probably wear that and show you that in the next vlog but i just want to let you know that was coming so i'll do a little try on haul for you as well and i quickly forgot to say i know everyone's gonna say i don't need another jacket but this one as you saw in the last fashion video i did i'm buying more like timeless pieces for me so it's more of a timeless design where i can wear it for years and years and basically the design of it won't ever go out of fashion and um, yeah i'll be excited to show you that sorry i'm leaving you a bit of a cliffhanger in this vlog for it but we'll see it in the next one there's the baby i have just done some work i've got just a teensy bit more left but mark has just done a quick run to whoa 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 just done a quick run to Tesco, so I'm just gonna have a bit of time with memes and then I'll get the rest of it done. It's literally nothing major anyway, so it should be fine. So we're gonna go, should we go have some time together? Come on then. Yay! Yay. Do yay? Ooh, what's this? Got all the bobos. Got all the bobos. Are you clever, girl? Are you clever girl? <gasps> Two both balls, you can't put both in your mouth. Yay! Why <laughs> oh, is so clever, mashallah, my beautiful girl? Uh, Peekaboo! <laughs> uh, Hello. Hello. 
drying it's taking its sweet time and i just want this done so I don't want this to be a project that's sat here for like two days because i need to use this room to film tomorrow so i'm gonna get the good old hair dry out try to dry it as much as i can and then respray it and then potentially dry that as well i've just fed mia she's just had her dinner and then she looks a little bit tired but i don't want to go to sleep as soon as she's had her dinner so we're trying to keep mia awake for as long as we can and then by then her food will be digested and i can put up to bed so I'm gonna go and try and try this. <laughs> So guys, here is the finished product. It's not fully dry, so I've left it on like a piece of cardboard. But I can't stay here any longer hair drying this thing. It was taking longer than I expected. Um, but I love it. This is a nice result, I'd say. It definitely looks really nice. I know I always say this, but it's giving me H&M Home Zara Home vibes. <laughs> I think it's really nice. I think it's a really cool and expensive way to upcycle a vase that you might not be that keen on anymore. I mean, there's a couple of patchy bits, but... I'm going to leave that overnight and then tomorrow I'll come and just like spritz them little parts there because if I do it now it'll just keep smearing. I love it. I think it looks really nice with the pampas grass there and I think with a couple of like well another coat it'll look a little bit lighter because you still see a little bit of the darkness through. But other than that I really like it. So yeah I hope you like my little upcycle project there. That can only cost me like £9 and there's loads left in it so if I find anything else that I fancy upcycling and making the same um, in terms of like vase and then it yeah it'll do the trick. Ah, what is going on? Right guys I've got loads of washing that needs hanging up so I'm gonna hang it up over the door on the dressing room on a door hanger thing and hope that dries the heaters are on so I hope it heats up enough to dry it because I'm not one per I'm not a person to hang washing out outside of new I don't like it I don't like like spiders and stuff but I've been saying it for absolutely ages I need a bloody air dryer or something because it's not practical my method right now and it's one of the reasons that I avoid doing the washing at the minute too but I'm gonna quickly get that done so that is something I don't have to stress about tomorrow. That means I can just get a load on and crack on. I'm not going to get any more loads done today because of the time that it's quite late now. It's like 8pm. So at least if I get this done, that's one thing off the bucket list. <laughs> bucket list. I've always wanted to do my washing. It's one thing off the list. down for bed you have to excuse the state of this has just been ruined today uh, yes Mia is down for bed now and I'm just gonna quickly the everything's clean just need to pick up the dishes that we just ate in now but the Marcus fixed I don't know I think I told you guys but the dishwasher was not working don't know what happened it just no idea it had got glass stuck in it we cleaned it out and it just wouldn't work and I think there's some sort of blockage so Marcus managed to and do that today and get the blockage out so luckily it's working now so there's no stress about washing up now and i can just go ahead and shove everything in the dishwasher which will be an absolute lifesaver um i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed it's the megan markle documentaries on today and marcus was is on cod night and he was like oh can you not wait till tomorrow to watch it and i was like right okay even though i'm the biggest like markle fan and now I've just seen everyone on my timeline is watching it. I was like, no, you know what? No, I can't wait till tomorrow, Marcus. Sorry, if you choose cod over the documentary or interview of the century, then that's your problem. I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna get to bed. And I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy watching that and her spilling all the beans. It's like watching The Crown, but in real life. Like this, if 
you guys know me that is like that is what i live for <laughs> That excites me a lot. That's so exciting for me. But yeah, I was always I'm saying it's so funny because like when even all these tabloids and stuff were going about, I'd always defend her. Like Marcus, they lie. She wrote a letter to a girl that she's like knew from Twitter, and then she passed it when she was like doing an interview. And I was like, she's the nicest person ever. Like they all lie, and I was telling everyone how I was right about Meghan Markle being the nice one. Anyways, I'm people so cross around. Yeah, but I'm I'm not waiting for Marcus because he doesn't deserve to watch it. But it's probably much better. I quickly thought I'd fill this up. Well, that's the water one. Yeah, I know. How do you fill it up? I assume you understand. No, I've tried twisting it and it come out. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know there should be some sort of instructions? No, no there wasn't. There's screws at the bottom. I'm sure you'd have to unscrew it. Ah, yeah, I didn't. You'd have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. So you just pull it out. My sister said another Amazon deal thing. These were like, how much are these? Like a tenner for two. But it's automatic cat water and cat food dispenser. So obviously just biscuits and water. And just we'll rinse it out for you fill up, please. So these are just so handy so you don't have to constantly fill up the cat water. It'll just each time obviously they drink it and more will just come out. And with this same with the biscuits, you don't have to constantly fill up their biscuits. And uh, obviously if we're out for the day then we know they're okay. So yeah, I picked up these. Can't link it all again because it's one of those one-off deals that my sister, I keep telling you about, he's fine sending me and she's just made me spend so much money. So I just thought I'd quickly fill these up before bed and give them a quick rinse. I'm going to fill this right mm -hmm. up. I'll just try it like that. You're rinsing that? Yeah, you need to rinse that as well. Oh. It'll never be the same as your little Harrods bar, will it? My Harrods ball I bought Alaska when I first got her. <laughs> Ooh. How much is that um, glugging when a cat stop when you drink water and more comes out? Yeah, that'll scare them for sure. I wonder if it'll stop. I was just thinking that, when does it stop? It must have like some sort of thing where it gets like a certain height that it'll stop, no? Yeah. Or have you put it on properly, Marcus? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hey! Quite cool though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, good for, do you know when we go on holiday? Yeah. When we go on holiday, yeah. have that filled with water. Yeah. Have the biscuits filled, so we know that even when whoever's going to be sitting the cats is going to come feed them wet food, yeah. we know we'll be eating throughout the day. Yeah. You'll have to dry that one, Issa. I know, I know. <laughs> I like it too. It's quite good though, isn't it? Like a tenor as well. All round here. Huh? Yes, I wish we could position it all round here. Yeah. Oh. Tokyo and Fiji have used it. Alaska won't. Alaska will never use it. No. Alaska I did see Alaska. It. No, Alaska did go near it, so that's a she start. Might go near it, but she likes to scratch your clothes and stuff like this. Yeah. We're gonna give the old one to my. <laughs> they just need to clean it because I think we spilled like some water or, not, or like juice on there. So we're gonna give that to my nieces and they can use it for their cats. And the kids made our famous Lotus Biscoff cheesecake, so we're gonna have some Biscoff cheesecake for dessert. Mia is out of bed. Guys, right, I am gonna go ahead and start to get ready for bed, otherwise, Mia will not let me do that. She's woke up, so she they were trying to Marcus was trying to get to bed, and it just turns out that she just would not settle, so she ended up getting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup off and then do my skincare routine. I don't know if I've spoken you guys through it recently. But Dr. Ahmed sent me some new stuff that I'm now incorporated, uh, incorporated into my routine. So I have this new Alpharet overnight cream. And I'm still using all the Abaji stuff. This is just additional. And he also sent me this SOS Lip Rescue. Um, this is amazing. I've never had anything on my lips that hydrates them more than this. And he recommended that because of like the cold sores that I get. So I'll still be using the Abaji. So I'll use that first. I'm going to use the night cream and then he's also giving me a eye cream 8 and then I will, oh, that's my daytime cream but I'm going to go ahead, I've got my cleanser, my Abaji cleanser in the bathroom so I'm going to use that first then I'll go ahead and 
use the toner just to get off any excess bits that I think I might have left on my skin and then I'll use the Abogi C Therapy Night Cream then I'll use the eye cream and then I'll put on my lip balm and stuff and then before I do that after I've used my toner I'm actually gonna because I've got it charged up I'm gonna use my Fario UFO 2 and give myself a face mask because I feel like I could do with the extra hydration and that's just a really lovely nice thing to do anyway it just helps me feel like I'm having a bit more of a pampered night but I've been very strict on when it comes to my skincare recently because I'm seeing masses of improvement I've got such even skin tone I'll show you guys I'm probably not going to show you today because I don't think it'll film well in the bathroom right now. I'll have a look if it's all right I'll show you guys um quickly little bits of my skincare But if not then I'm just gonna quickly talk you through it as I am now and also I use this today It's the hair burst roller. So you can see it's got like I don't think it'll focus tiny tiny needles on there They're 0.25 and when your hair's wet when you come out of the shower You'd roll this in the bits where your hair's sparse and you've not got much hair and it helps stimulate the hair growth and I've been very strict just with my entire regime uh, Marcus used that as well he loves it so far you have to be very careful you're supposed to go the area over the area three times and not much and I was doing it and I was putting a bit of pressure on Marcus that like, you shouldn't put pressure on I was like yeah but I can't feel anything then afterwards I could feel it and I was like that's why you shouldn't put pressure on also I've been keeping on top of my I can say this I did some work with hairburst on Instagram sent me these bits as like an extra these weren't what my work was for but I decided to start taking them and honestly I'm re I just love their stuff I'm so heavily impressed with it but yeah I've got this hairburst unicorn vegan hair vitamins unicorn vegan hair vitamins that I've been taking and I've got through just under halfway now of the vitamins loving that love the shampoo and conditioner you guys know I'm very very picky about the stuff that I use but yeah I just want to give you a quick update on like my skincare at the minute and what I'm using I'll go check the bathroom right now and see what it's like and if it's all right then I'll quickly show you uh, the routine if not you might have to wait for another vlog right guys unfortunately the bathroom is not playing ball and I can't just get like my camera stood up and the light and everything's terrible so I will show you my updated skincare in another vlog I promise you but I just thought I'd talk through it now uh, i'm leaving this vlog here because i plan on picking it back up tomorrow i'm vlogging because i've got like them clothes coming and stuff so i want to show you guys a little bit of that uh, but yeah i hope you've all had a good start to the week and that you're doing well and i'll catch up with you on the next one let me know what you think of the vase and yeah i'll see you guys soon thanks bye